Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are headed to the country of Georgia. Our factory direct reseller there is Lessie, L-E-S-E. -E. Maya is our contact there. And we are getting this shipment out to them in time for them to present all of these knives and I'm sure many other at the Tbilisi Knife Show. It will be held at the uh, Biltmore Tbilisi. You can look up the address. You can also check out this Facebook link, facebook.com forward slash knife show Tbilisi, and that's spelled T-B-I-L-I-S-I -I forward slash, and that will give you information about the show that is on October 20th, and let's see the knives that will be on display and, and available for purchase there. All right, we do have a couple Damascus knives on the table here, and I don't know if we've ever done a Praetorian Slim Flipper but I like that this is more subtle, not so blingy over the top. I mean, I like all kinds of different knives. This one's got a very dark pattern to it. Almost looks like a topographical pattern. DLC handles, flamed hardware, and clip. This next one is my favorite. There are so many facets to the blade on this. And the pattern of the Damascus looks different depending on the facet. So I just love it. Those very, very thin, fine, wavy lines on the bevel and then more pronounced on the flat. DLC handles with bronze hardware and a brushed and bronze clip. Nosferatu Auto. Killer. We have a 187 drop point. This is our AKA the Hulk knife. It's got green recesses, peaks and valleys, starts off bronze on the flats up here, and then it fades to a uh, darker bronze and violet. Bronze hardware and a brushed bronze clip. We have a Marauder H with a, an S45 DLC drop point blade, suppressed handles, black base with blue flats, beautiful blue hardware, and a blue clip, a Praetorian T, S45 DLC Tanto, again, black undertones with suppressed handles, brushed bronze flats, twisted Predator with bronze hardware, and a brushed and bronze clip. Another Praetorian T, S45, Vulcan Tanto, lightning sculpting, flamed hardware, and a brush and acid etch flamed clip. And then the last Praetorian T here is again, suppressed handles, bead blasted cement undertones with brushed bronze flats. Occasionally we get really minor tooling marks in the fuller groove. And just to clean it up a little bit, we offer laser engraving in the fuller. Not only does it give you a little bit of grip and texture, I think it blends beautifully with this sculpting. It just looks absolutely stunning. Bronze hardware and a brush and bronze clip. One more Damascus knife on the table, and you'll see the end there stamped into the blade for Chad Nichols. So Damascus Tonto, suppressed handles, and that's bronze stained glass handles with bronze hardware and brushed and bronze clip. We have a couple more Genesis T, I think. Me thinks Maya likes stained glass. All silver, we have a satin blade, straight up silver stained glass with a brushed silver clip. And the next one is a bronze and silver two-tone. No bead blasting, which I think is wicked looking because it looks a little more industrial. Love it. Bronze hardware, brushed silver clip. We have a micro Praetorian with blue purple dimples on the handles. You see the features are still there. The finger groove features, flamed hardware, brushed and flamed clip. Slim Midi Marauder, DLC Tanto, bronze stained glass, bronze hardware, brushed and flame, bronze clip, and then one very uh, pretty straightforward. It is a very pretty uh, bronze to violet fade, but no sculpting. A little bit of hardware and clip upgrades, but pretty straightforward. So I'm not sure if they plan on bringing the Damascus knives to the show because Maya absolutely loves them, and I know she wants to have this museum-like experience when you come visit visit their uh, shop there in Lessie. So whether you go to the show on October 20th or go visit them at their shop location, 
Um, I think you should check them out. This is a beautiful array of knives. Thank you very much for watching the video. Until the next time, peace.